After attending the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, Rafe Fiennes went into theatre, the National followed by the Royal Shakespeare Company. But he'd barely been at the RSC for three seasons when his dark, threatening interpretation of Heathcliff in the 1992 film adaptation of Wuthering Heights proved a dramatic big screen debut. When I was young, I, didn't, I, never thought, I never thought consciously of being an actor. Um, I was introduced to Shakespeare quite a young age by my, my mother, and I think just narratively, dramatically, that interested me. But it was really when I was... I acted at school. I went, went to a grammar school in Salisbury where I was in a couple of productions, just school productions, which I enjoyed. And one or two people said, you have an ability here. <laughs> Steven Spielberg was very clear he didn't want he didn't want a, a demonstration of quote-unquote evil. He wanted a man doing a job, and what a pain in the ass it was that I had to move this number of people here and this number of people there. And, um, so I, I felt I was very well directed. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of things, a lot of moments in the film, and it was very thrilling to be directed by Stephen. He's very inventive, he was very on, in the moment, seeing designs for the look of Voldemort, which I thought were fantastically striking sort of shaven, the bald head and the no-nose and the whole look was uh, <laughs> attractive. <laughs> the story of Coriolanus is really always relevant. I mean, I just think it's got, it's got this, it's so textually dense that I think it's sort of occluded or stopped it, the story that it could be being, it's not an easy play, it's not, it's difficult and I think it will always be difficult. But it's as a story, as a parable of politics, of a crisis of leadership, of, the, of a, continual, a continual perennial state of the nation expose of the, the continual dysfunction as how we as tribes, parties, families never can get it together. I mean, I think it's, I think it's brilliant. It's good if you can sort of lose yourself to the point of an accident happening in terms of a moment that you haven't, you know, it's, you're loosened up and it's great when the director can sort of prod you or, or wrong foot you. Even sometimes if they can push you to the point where you're feeling slightly frustrated or what's wrong, what's wrong, it can... Because I think certainly for myself, I like to feel that I'm prepared, but sometimes the preparation needs to be sort of shaken up a bit. And I like it when it's, it's, it's when you just... Because I think film likes spontaneous energy. It likes the thing that's not prepared. It likes the thing that goes, just spurts off between the actors and sparks. Mm -hmm.